Let me tell you something, man. I'm one of the biggest Lamar Jackson fans in the world. And if he loses to Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship this year, I'm going to be so hurt. And the reason why is because he's about to win his second MVP. I really don't think that a lot of people truly understand how good Lamar Jackson is. He's one of the most dominant quarterbacks in the last couple of years that the league has seen. He does not lose that often. Every time he's healthy, the Ravens have been in contention for the one seed. Every time their season has gone left, it's been when Lamar Jackson has gotten hurt. And what a lot of people don't remember is that his rookie season, when he had to come in, when John Harbaugh was about to get fired, he led them to the playoffs, saved their season, saved John Harbaugh's job. He's the reason why John Harbaugh is still one of the longest tenured coaches in the league right now. And he's also only lost one game against the NFC. And a couple of weeks ago, I made a segment when I said Lamar Jackson was better than Patrick Mahomes. And I was really surprised at the amount of people that actually agree with me. Like, I thought I was tripping saying that Lamar Jackson was better than Mahomes. But you see, when it comes to talent and athleticism, Lamar Jackson is better than Mahomes. And I don't really think it's close. Lamar Jackson is the most genetically gifted, it's the most talented, the most genetically, athletically gifted quarterback that we've ever seen enter the NFL. I know, I don't even know if that makes sense, but that's the only way I can word it when it comes to describing Lamar Jackson. He's truly unstoppable. He's a weapon. And we see how deadly he is as a thrower now, but you also remember what he does on the ground. It's like pick your poison when it comes to the dude. And we've never seen a quarterback have this kind of talent ever. Even Michael Vick wasn't this good because he wasn't nowhere close to the passer that Lamar Jackson is. And he has even admitted this publicly several times with no issues. You see, Lamar Jackson, there's not a single throw that he can't make. There are plays that Lamar can make that Mahomes can't make just because of his athleticism. He has a great arm, too. He can throw from different body angles, off-platform. And let me tell you about the young legend out of Pompano. He has accomplished everything there is to accomplish in the NFL but win a championship. And the only reason he hasn't been able to do that isn't because he isn't able to step up in the postseason. It's because he hasn't had a good enough team that guys like Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes have had in the past. Patrick Mahomes was winning the championship with prime Travis Kelsey and prime Tyreek Hill and a really good offensive line, plus Andy Reid. Lamar Jackson had Greg Roman with those three tight end sets and not really a a evenly good receiver that was close to what Zay Flowers is right now as a rookie. Maybe Marquise Brown, but that was about it. And Mark Andrews, you always had him, but you still need a good wide receiver. And now the Baltimore Ravens this year, with Lamar Jackson having Todd Munkin as his offensive coordinator, he now has what Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes have had in the past that has led them to the Super Bowl. As long as Lamar Jackson doesn't have one of those games when You know, he gets a little bit clumsy with the football. He should be able to go toe-to-toe with Patrick Mahomes. And he has to be able to beat Patrick Mahomes to prove to all of the haters and the critics that he is truly the best quarterback in the National Football League. People seem to think that Mahomes has this weird armor around him that he's invincible and he can't be beaten in the postseason. Even though Joe Burrow has beaten him in the past and Brady has beaten him in the past. And you see with Lamar Jackson, he's good enough to beat Patrick Mahomes. He has the squad. Hell, his team is better than the Kansas City Chiefs. So when it just comes to the quarterback advantage, Lamar Jackson really is gooder or just as good, if not better than what Mahomes is right now. So all he has to do is go out and show it. And if he can't get it done, then this is going to be a really huge blunder on his career because he may not ever get another opportunity to get back to the AFC Championship. 
regardless of how good he is, you're going to have Joe Burrow coming back fully healthy. What if Trevor Lawrence and Doug Peterson ever figure it out in Jacksonville? Hell, what if Deshaun Watson ever bounces back? You just never know. So you have to take advantage of this opportunity to be the down Kansas City Chiefs team. Despite how good they've been playing in the postseason, you still have a better team. And Lamar Jackson is about to win his second MVP. You can't win your second MVP award and go out the same way that you did similarly when you won it the first time in 2019. You got to be able to cap it off with a Super Bowl. And if Lamar Jackson wins a Super Bowl, do you not know what that would do for his legacy? At this point, you could say that he's the best black quarterback ever. Not trying to be racist, but just being honest, whoever, who else could you say would be better than Lamar Jackson? He'll be the best mobile quarterback that ever played a game, better than Michael Vick, better than Randall Cunningham, better than Cam Newton, better than Russell Wilson, better than whoever else. And then you can make the argument that he's the best quarterback in the NFL. Hell, he's already in my book the better quarterback than what Mahomes is just because he's more talented based on his athleticism. But the only thing that Lamar Jackson is lacking when it comes to the argument is that he doesn't have the championship pedigree that Mahomes has, even though I still disagree with that because championships are a team accomplishment, not a single player individual accomplishment. But Hell, if that's what Lamar needs to make his case, then that's what he needs to do. And if he wins a Super Bowl, then the national media can have no more leeway when it comes to Mahomes being better than the rest of the pack. But even if they do want to say, well, Lamar Jackson, he, he was able to do it against the down K Chiefs team, it still doesn't matter. You want to know why? Because... Patrick Mahomes has the whole label that he should be able to elevate his teammates. And everybody is already hyping up how good they've been playing in the playoffs the last couple of weeks. And even if they do beat a down Kansas City Chiefs team, you're still going to beat a really good 49ers or Detroit Lions team in the Super Bowl, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you win the Super Bowl. All that matters is that you win one. You can make a case to bonk, the debunk, hella Super Bowls that Tom Brady won. You see, Lamar Jackson, in the hearts of most NFL fans out there that think logically, is already the best quarterback in the NFL. But for the people that base their whole arguments about who's better because of championships, then you're always going to go with Mahomes. But what you overlook is that you still got to have the team around you, the talent around you, to win those championships. And Lamar Jackson hasn't had that. And hell, he's done more with less. You give Patrick Mahomes what Lamar Jackson had to work with early in his career, I don't think he still would be as good as what he is right now. You give Lamar Jackson, Andy Reid, prior Travis Kelsey, and Tyreek Hill, there's no telling. He probably could have won just as many Super Bowls as what Patrick Mahomes has right now, but Kansas City is looking to 3 P and they're looking to become a dynasty, but Lamar Jackson is about to get in the way of that. And like I've been telling people for the last couple of months that you need to hold on when it comes to giving Kansas City the dynasty label. You see, there are other quarterbacks in the league like Lamar Jackson, such as Josh Allen and Joe Burrow, who are just as good as Patrick Mahomes. They just don't get that credit. Because they haven't won the Super Bowl. And a lot of people base their arguments on who's best or who's better than who based on championships is not right. I don't agree with it, but that's just how it goes. And Lamar Jackson, to be the man, you have to beat the man. And he has to beat Patrick Mahomes. And if he loses this game, I'm going to be so upset. So upset. I remember watching him when he was a freshman at Louisville. And he's from the area that I currently reside with. So, got to root for Lamar Jackson. And he's been one of the biggest draft steals of all time. Like, Ozzie Newsom drafted him one of, in his final draft. Like, Lamar Jackson, for him to be a two-time MVP, 
having the opportunity to win the Super Bowl, this is going to be big for his career. So Lamar Jackson, for him to finally be able to get over the hump, he has to go through Patrick Mahomes. Six straight AFC championships, best quarterback in the game in a lot of people's opinion. For him to get to his first ever Super Bowl, he has to go through the most dominant quarterback in the league. And if he can do that, and if he can win the Super Bowl, then you can make the argument, you can make the case that Lamar Jackson is better than Mahomes, and it really shouldn't be that big of an argument. But for his legacy, he has to be able to cap this season off with the win in the Super Bowl, and it all starts with beating Mahomes, because if he can't get it done, and the Ravens just lay an egg, you don't know if they're ever going to get back to this spot.